everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for being here I appreciate each and every one of you for being a part of my YouTube family if you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining don't forget the bell button and that'll let you know every time I upload a video today I am here with the Dollar Tree haul it is like my last minute shopping I ran out last night I needed some gift tags and things for wrapping and I ended up with a lot of stuff because it's Dollar Tree and that's what happens. So um, I was up way too late wrapping last night. I think it was after 2 a.m. before I went to bed, but most of the kids' gifts are all wrapped and now I have family members' gifts and some last minute shopping to do. So um, I'm working my way done. We are on like the countdown, guys. Like we're on the countdown, it's crazy. But um, it's almost Christmas and that's exciting and I love seeing all the gifts get put under the tree. They make me really happy. I wanted to show you my shirt. So this is my shirt that I like to wear every year when I wrap presents. It says Gangster Wrapper and it cracks me up. I had it made from a local person who does like cricket stuff because every time I start wrapping gifts, I say like, you know, I gotta get wrapping and, and I literally like, you know, I start wrapping and I can't wrap, believe me. My go-to is Regulators by Warren G. Drop me down a comment down below if you know Regulators, because that's that's my go-to wrap, because I pretty much know all the words. Um, and my husband just shakes his head every time, and I laugh, because I think it's great. So that's my, my wrapping shirt, and I'm wrapping up some more gifts today, so I decided to put it on today. So start this haul. I busted into these last night because I needed them. That's why I went to the store. But I grabbed some sticky gift tags and I was actually not finding a lot of these. And so when I went and I saw them, I was really excited. So this package came with 100 pieces. I honestly thought they has two sheets and I thought they were going to both be the same, but they're not. So they're like a bunch of different tags. Sorry, I'm going to get all up in your area so you can try to see some of them. They are really cute. They're good for just those small little gifts. And I liked them a lot. I tried to pull like the back page because I was going to show you, but then I realized that they're different. There's like kitties and puppies, gnomes, gingerbread, snowmen. I mean, there's something for everybody on this 100 set of tags. So those made me really happy. And like I said, I've been using them already on the gifts that I've been wrapping. I picked up this book of tags. I haven't pulled any out of here yet. I don't know why. I glanced, but then I was using the other ones. So this comes with 104. I noticed after I got it home, this page looks like these are a little wonky on this one, but all kinds of cute ones and like pretty color schemes in here. So if you do see these, there's another book that only had like 50 some. And so I left that one. I didn't even look at it. I wonder if it has glitter and stuff on it, if it's just like slightly nicer. But I picked up the one that had more because more. And so they're just really cute. It looks like they repeat themselves towards the end. So really liked those. And then I picked these up. I've only used one sheet so far. This comes with a hundred. And so it looks like there's 10 on this and there's just 10 pages of this over and over and over. But I absolutely love these. They match my colorful Christmas in my other room perfectly. And a lot of the wrapping papers I picked up like perfectly matched. And so I was really happy with this buy. I thought they were really cute. So like I said, there's 100 in here. There's 10 per sheet, so I assume there's 10 sheets. I've pulled out one so far and used it. So those were exciting finds for gift wrapping. I was looking for bows, you know, just the ones that you stick on, like a bag of bows. And I didn't find it. I went to three Dollar Trees last night and I didn't find bags of bows in any of them. So I don't know if they're just not putting them out or what. All right, other stuff. So I found some of my wish list items that I've been wanting um, that I haven't been finding. So they're slowly putting stuff out. Sorry, I almost dropped something. So I finally found the shark stocking. I know my girl Mari from Restore Creations was going to be sending me one, but I want to use it for some magic. And so I wanted it before Christmas ends. And so I picked this one up. My son Eric loves sharks. So it won't be his like regular stocking because I have a set of stockings for that. But I thought that this would be fun to play around with. And, you know, if you wanted to hang a stocking up in his room, this would be the one that he'd probably want. I picked up a roll of crepe paper. Cre yeah, crepe paper. This is for some Christmas magic as well. And then, as I've mentioned, my Dollar Trees do have the um, plus. They're still a dollar. My Dollar Trees are still a dollar. I'm guessing after Christmas or after the New Year, maybe their prices are going up. 
but still a dollar every time I go in I like scan and I look at the signs and everything but everything's still a dollar but I have Dollar Tree pluses and so these Nerf guns were five dollars in the plus section and they're actual Nerf guns so that was exciting and so I'm doing the boxes for the kids but I'm adding another gift to go along with it and so this is for my two nephews to add to their gift box gifts um, and they're coming over Thursday night, Christmas Eve Eve, and we're doing like our little family get together with them on Christmas Eve Eve. So I wanted to have those. All my boxes are down here because I've been working on getting them all put together. Let's see. This has been on my wish list item all season. I never came across it. I don't necessarily need it right now, but I thought my thought was maybe trying because I know it's a small tree skirt it's only 18 inches and this is a nice big tree but I have the um, scarves around the bottom of it and I thought maybe if I put this around like the base of the tree and then have the scarves coming out from underneath it it would kind of ump that a little bit so that was kind of my thought process but it matches this room so well with the black and white Christmas that I wanted to have that and I was excited to find it I have some little gift bags. I just wanted some small ones. And so this was a three pack. It comes with that one with Santa and like the little animals. This I think is like the bears. Oh, might, no, here's a snowman. And then this one says season's greetings with the bears and the penguin. So I just wanted some of those little ones and that was right there on the end cap. It was perfect. Receipts everywhere. I went to three Dollar Trees. I don't know if I said that. Now these were on my wish list all season because as you know I was home making a whole bunch of gingerbread items for my kitchen and I wanted these so bad. I don't have time now to do anything with them. I'm debating if I just want to put them in as is because I mean they kind of have that gingerbread look. Um, but I'll definitely just wait for next year and do something with them next year because who knows if Dollar Tree is going to come out with them again because you know it's Dollar Tree you never know. I picked up a whole bunch of these. They are the basket bags. This was at the third Dollar Tree I went to. This was one of the main things on my list last night. And I was like, shoot, I'm not going to find them. But at the last one I went to, they finally had them. So I picked up just a whole bunch of them. It's for my little gift baskets for the kids. I'm doing my charcuterie baskets for um, my adult family members. And so I wanted those easy bags to like wrap them up in because it just makes it so easy. This was a random find. It was on like one of their last minute gift little areas. It says coffee cash and I have like the notebooks and stuff with these little coffees and I love it. I think it is so cute. And so after Christmas and all the decorations are put away, I think this will go somewhere like in my desk office area because I think he's so cute. Like I really like that a lot. Oh, and this is what almost fell out. I had already hauled this once before, and then I mentioned I have another niece on the way, and so I want to just do a little gift for her. Something small. She's not born yet, and um, we haven't done her baby shower yet, but I just want to do a little something special for her. I picked up, I've already picked up and hauled these once. I picked up more to add to um, some of my gift baskets. I got the first set for Lorelai because she loves these kinds of scrunchies. And then I thought that Layla, my best friend's daughter, I, she calls me Aunt Amber, I call her my niece, um, I thought she'd like them too. So I wanted to get her a set of those. When I was doing my gift basket video, and if you haven't watched that yet, it's down below in you know, my, my videos, um, where I put together some kids' gift baskets, I realized for the girls I didn't have any bath bombs or anything, and so I picked up these. They are the Trolls, it says Rock and Roll Rainbow Dust Scented Bath Crumble. And so it's just like the um, Hot Wheels ones that I did for the boys. It's like a bath bomb, but already all broken up. And I thought that that would be cute in the girls' baskets. They only have three, so I picked them all up. I picked up these little doodads. I had seen, I've been watching a lot of crafting videos I've mentioned. I need to stop now because I cannot keep crafting. I just don't have any more time. But where they turn these into little um, trays... And so you just add on one of the Dollar Tree, I don't have any over here, sometimes I do, like the Dollar Tree um, vase or a Dollar Tree pillar thing, and I have a bucket so I can show it, two hands, show it with a bucket, so you just attach something to the bottom as the base, and then this would be like just a perfect little tray, and 
my when I saw them do it I thought maybe in my tear tray this could be a way to up it but this is definitely too big for it to be on my tear tray but it would be a cute addition next to a tear tray like you know if you just have some stuff because I always have stuff around my tear tray too when I decorate because I have a lot of things I want to show and so I picked those up for that later because I don't have time for that now what else I need a pencil sharpener for my like eyebrow pencils and stuff and I don't have any that have the cover so I just picked up this Crayola pencil sharpener to have in my makeup stash to um, sharpen those because right now they are basically flat and I'm like scraping myself with wood now because I just need a pencil sharpener for those these I hadn't seen before and they were kind of in that last minute like gift area with the um, little coffee cash bank so I picked these up I thought they were really cute it's a bracelet bead kit and it has the star ones right there on the nose of the unicorn and it's just like the little colored beads to make little ba uh, bracelets so I thought those were too darn cute so I picked those up for some last minute gifts I needed a birthday card so I grabbed a birthday card because why not these I've seen some people hauling I was excited to find them the Dollar Tree that I found these at had all kinds of different colors of like the cheetah print tweezers and so I got the white pair with the pink cheetah print and really excited to find those hopefully the tweezers work well sometimes they're not great tweezers so we will see I got these to do like that little gift for my baby niece that's not born yet and I thought some bows that little welcome world thing I don't know if I picked up anything else now thinking about it to put in there but that's what I've grabbed so far I grabbed another one of these games this one's the guess who I didn't see it the first time again we might be going up to a cabin after Christmas and we're not we don't know yet if we're going but if we do I figure these will travel really well so I'm gonna just put them in my stash for traveling and then that way the kids will have something to do if we are not at home and you don't have to worry so much about losing stuff I picked these up for Eric he's been really into army stuff lately and guns and all the weapons and all the things and I thought this would just be an addition to his collection that he has and more gift bags because Dollar Tree always has the most amazing gift bags and I hadn't seen these ones yet this year I like this one so much I grabbed two this is one that I would like to put in a frame and use as decor I think it is so pretty it says Christmas tree farm and it's got kind of the little shimmer to it right right there yep you can see that shimmer and it says cut and carry pine spruce fir and then it says complimentary hot cocoa Ugh, I love that and then on the other side it's not sparkly and so if I mean if you put it in a frame I know there's this crease in it but I think it would kind of even that out if you don't want the sparkly side and then those of us that love the sides of the bags it's got that green print to it I am absolutely in love with this bag like in love with it so like I said I picked up two I may wrap in one but I wanted to keep one for decor for next year and then the other one I picked up it's the most wonderful time of the year it's got the red buffalo plaid I have mentioned that this is one of my favorite um, Christmas sayings I love it so I thought that one was really pretty as well and again it's got kind of that shimmer the sparkle it's not sparkle but you know the shiny part and then on the other side it doesn't have the shiny and the inside is still just the continuous continue on of the buffalo check I love that bag too but that tree one like in love with it like I loved it so much let's see guys <laughs> so much stuff I picked up a lot for just running for like a list I picked up some of these tins for some gifts I'm doing gift cards for my parents and I just wanted to be able to kind of dress up the way I give it to them and so I this one's my favorite like this print obviously I've loved all year and then this one I thought would be good for my my dad he's getting a golf gift certificate because he loves to golf and I thought that that would be a nice way to give it actually it's probably gonna be a visa gift card because it's easier than going to the golf course at this point to get one and then you could buy whatever golf course he wants these have been on my wish list since I've seen people haul them I got the ornaments so right here I have the ornament on my tree which are decent sized ornaments but these are amazing I told myself if I ran into the ornaments again I would buy more 
and I didn't but I had to buy these and so next year when I put my tree up I like to do the big things in the tree so like the big signs and stuff because I feel like it fills in so much space but it makes it just look really like upscale and so I'll probably put these in my tree even though I know they're designed for the wall but I like the bigger stuff in the tree you don't need as many small ornaments that way so I like them uh, I was so excited to find those finally because I've been watching for them oh, more gift bags guys because I like gift bags first I picked up this big bike bag we're not gifting a bike to anyone but I thought that this would be nice just to have one it's good to use these for your trash a lot of times I mean I have some big things I'm gonna be wrapping in big bags and I didn't know if the bags I had were big enough and so I figure it doesn't hurt to have this on hand so usually those are like the first ones open because they're big and they're right in front and then these bags are perfect for you like your trash so as the kids are opening and you have to put all the wrapping paper somewhere, get one of these. They're like perfect. Um, and I usually use it for wrapping and then I pull it up, you know, have them be careful when they open it and then I use it for the trash. And then like if you're doing pictures while kids are opening, you don't have a big ugly black trash bag or white, I guess. White's not so bad, but it just blocks the trash bags, you know, so you have the pretty bag instead. I picked these up. It says wishing you joy, se joy this season. Got the penguin with the lights and then the second one because this is one of the two packs is happy holidays with dinosaurs so the reason I grabbed these is I have to do the goodie bags for the kids class still they have school this week they're in school right now it's Monday and then tomorrow is their last day so I have to send their goodie bags and their teachers gifts and so I picked these up to make it easier for them to get them to school because they are now past COVID they're done with their whatever 10 days their quarantine time they got to go back to school today and then Braxton is at his grandma's because we're done with our 10 days we were COVID free thank goodness and so we got to go spend a little bit of time with grandma and um, be out of my hair a little bit so I can get some stuff done and so we made it through and we're in time for the holidays so I got this set too for the same purpose because I got two kiddos going to school so I need something to get the teachers gifts in to get them there and then also for the goodie bags so we got Santa that says Merry Christmas, and I had already picked up and hauled the big bag of this one. It says, oh, what fun. Oh, I didn't open the sides of any of them. It just follows through. That one has the snowflakes, which is on the front. I don't think that those have any major sides. They just have the follow through. Yep. Open the dinosaur has like a blue one when it's a pink bag. So, yeah, got those. Let's see where to go. All right, so a bunch of what I'm going to be showing now. So I'm doing charcuterie board gift gifts to um, family members. And so I got the bamboo cutting boards from Dollar Tree. And uh, my best friend, actually, she has a business. I'll link her Facebook page down below. And she does forging. So she's going to etch their names on them for me on the cutting board just to make it a little nicer. And what I'm going to add into those, I got some crackers. Um, I've already hauled the Hickory Farms cheeses that came from Dollar Tree and the spicy sweet hot mustard or something, the little mustards. So I needed crackers to put into it. Um, and I think I was short some of the bowls. So I grabbed two of these. One, I use them at my house, so if I have extras, I'm going to just keep them for home. But I wanted to make sure I had enough. And so I grabbed two of those. I picked these up probably for gingerbread house making because we're going to be doing that this week. And then whatever's left over, I'm going to put on my hot cocoa bar. So I grabbed those when I was in the food section. So that's that stuff. Oh, here's another box of crackers. They're just spread across a bunch of different bags. So I got five of everything. So I'm going to try not to like show them individually because it's five of all the stuff. What I did pick up though are these game cards. I saw other people hauling them and they look like fun. And I thought that they could go in the kids' stockings because I've been needing stuff for stockings and the kids like to play games. So that's for the kids' stockings. Okay, for the charcuterie boards. So Jennifer from Simple Life, she doesn't use her channel as much anymore. I hope she comes back because she does the best gift baskets. She mentioned that she got pepperonis for a charcuterie tray at Dollar Tree and I couldn't find them. And at the third one, I found the Hormel pepperonis. So that's going to go with the charcuterie tray with the cheese, the mustard. I picked up olives because I feel like olives are just a part of charcuterie boards. I don't like green olives, but a lot of people do. 
And then I have bought this and had it on our charcuterie boards. And so I got this to add to the basket and an extra one for us because I like that a lot. I think it's really yummy. Um, it is basil pesto a la Gavinese, Gavinoise sauce. It says with Italian basil, Italian cheese, and extra virgin olive oil. Except for the second ingredient is sunflower oil, so they make it a little bit cheap. But it tastes really good on like um, bruschetta? Bruschetta? I don't know, crusty bread, and you do that with some like peppers and stuff, really good. So that's what's in that bag. I already hauled that. Sorry, I'm a mess today. You should see my house from wrapping. It is a disaster right now, and the kids come home from school this afternoon, so I need to get it all cleaned up. We got more crackers in here, but I did pick up five of these to add to the gift baskets. It's Nuts, which is not a Greenbrier brand. It doesn't tell me anything other than that. It just has nuts. And it's a cashew almond duo. And I like to do nuts on my charcuterie boards. So that's why I thought that this would be fun. Oh, it's Star Snacks Company, LLC, New Jersey, Jersey City, New Jersey. So I got those. Now I wish I would have got another one, though, because I'm doing a charcuterie board for Christmas Eve. And I didn't grab one of those for me. And then I did find these jellies. I mentioned that I hoped that I would. They're Miss Miller's homemade and this is seedless red raspberry jam because I do jams and jellies on my charcuterie boards as well and this one is a peach jam so I grabbed some of those I grabbed one more box of hot cocoa because when we have the family members over to do gift exchange I figured we could utilize the hot cocoa bar so I just want to make sure to have enough and now talking about my charcuterie boards that I'm putting together I needed something to put them in and I decided to use these bowls from Dollar Tree because then they also have a serving bowl too. So it has like the clear iridescent look to it. I'll do the board. And then I also picked up knives because the knives go in charcuterie, you know, a lot of times. It's usually the cute cutters. I went back to Target. They had the little set for $3. And by the time I went back looking for them, they didn't have any more. So I'll add in this little knife and all the little goodies that I bought for it. And then I got crinkle or decorative shred to put at the bottom for that. So that is that bag. So that's more little gift baskets I need to get put together. And I think that's it because I think this is just, yeah, this is just olives and the pesto sauce. All right, guys, that's it. That is my Dollar Tree haul, my last minute Christmas stuff, some bags, the tags, my gift baskets that I should have had all this stuff beforehand, but I just waited till the last minute. Some of it I couldn't find until now. So, sorry I'm a hot mess. I don't have all my makeup on. I'm going to finish wrapping, get all the stuff put away before the kids get home, and just keep doing all the things to make Christmas happen. My goal is to be just done by tomorrow so I can enjoy, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Just enjoy it. So that's the goal. So um, I'm going to be back. I'm going to do my crafts or my show and tell of the things I put together for this room the cozy cabin room because I made some things and I haven't shown you guys yet and I really want to try to get a home tour done too so before Christmas is done and gone so that's my goal for the rest of the week this is going to be my last haul I'm not going to do any more hauls until after Christmas but I'm going to try to show you my Christmas stuff so if I don't do a lot of talking in my next upcoming videos I will but I want to wish you guys such a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays um, whatever it is that you're celebrating thank you guys so much for being here I appreciate all of you I feel like I got the biggest Christmas gift by getting to a thousand subscribers like just before and I appreciate all of you so much for that and so just Happy Holidays Merry Christmas Happy Hanukkah um, happy Kwanzaa I don't know all the different holidays but whatever you celebrate happy it like marry it happy it enjoy it enjoy your family enjoy your time and I cannot wait to see you guys next time bye guys